So today we're gonna be reviewing the experience that I had canyoneering at Kwasan Falls in Philippines in the Cebu sort of island area. And it was absolutely amazing. Not only will you be doing the canyoneering, there's all these other activities as well. So make sure you stay tuned right till the end of the video. And of course, if you haven't done so, make sure you go like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you can stay updated with some of the most beautiful places on earth that I get to visit and maybe you can come along too. So what you're looking at right now is first you will rig up. You basically come with absolutely nothing. If you wanna bring your phone, you can, or you'd ideally wanna put it in some waterproof housing. You get a ride on the motorbike so that it can take you up to the mountains because the whole idea of canyoneering is that you sort of fall down the slope of the mountains. And once you get to the top, you're gonna get debriefed on you know what's gonna be involved and you know what things you can or you can't take. All right, right here at the canyoneering at the Kawasan Falls, it's gonna be dope. We're gonna do some zip lining because we don't wanna walk 45 minutes to the first fall, hell no. And then after that, it's gonna be a series of jumps down the fall. It's gonna start with nice and low and then it's gonna get really, really tall. I don't know how tall it's gonna be. I guess we'll find out. That's how it's gonna be. This is it. We're just gonna go have some fun. It's gonna be dope. Joining is my sister and my homie, Hassan. Let's go. Let's do this. And, and, our, and our guide, right, Roy, who's gonna make sure that we come back alive. Let's go! And from there, you are then given the choice to either zip line to the next destination or walk 45 minutes. Uh, that was a no brainer for me. So here we are on the very first fall. And from there, you'll then be given a few challenging and increasingly challenging falls. No, you don't have to do every single one of them. Even if you are a complete freak against height, I think it's quite manageable. There are ways around it. Some people choose to walk down instead of jumping on these falls as well. You'll find a way. It's actually not that bad, but it is increasingly uh, higher the falls that you can choose to fall. And just the vibe and the the energy of the actual tour itself, you'll probably be able to put in some good jumps and then you'll have lots and lots of fun. Jumps start off nice and small, but then later it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's not that crazy, but you will have lots of fun along the way. One of the best thing about this experience is that you're actually in fresh water for a change. Throughout the trip in Philippines, you're always in salty water and there's a little bit of that saltiness on your skin, but this one is so refreshing. It just washes all that off. The water is obviously turquoise blue and very, very clean as well. And that's something that I really enjoy. And the water is actually cold, which is good because you're basically hot everywhere. You're, you're hot when you're walking around you're also hot when you're jumping in the water as well in the ocean but here because it's in the mountains it's actually nice and cool and when we were there it was raining just a little bit and to just swim in the rain it's just such a surreal and an amazing feeling there are literally a million spots to take photos and your tour guide will be the one that will do the best job at taking these photos for you and depending on the tour guide that you have ask your tour guide to do a backflip jump he'll show one of those for you Damn! So those canyons, when you're walking around, the shoes that you wear, they actually give you those shoes. It's comfortable and it's protective and it is super easy to just walk and run around. You'll get a few rocks stuck in there, but just take your shoes off and wash it all out. That's all you need to do. I really like this about traveling around Philippines is that you can literally come with absolutely nothing other than your cameras and phones. And do take your time to actually just literally look around. And that's what I like about it because you're not glued to your phone. And the scenery during this canyoneering experience was just out of this world. And it is just so refreshing. I've never felt so good and happy in my life doing anything this was genuinely a very refreshing experience and all the worries of your life literally disappear okay so i found this at whitewater rafting in bali in ubud as well during this experience in the middle there's always a pit stop where you can grab yourself a drink and this time around we were actually able to have some skewer barbecue and they were absolutely amazing and to think that these people these store owners actually come down the mountain to actually set it all up it is absolutely unreal and to be able to be enjoyed right then and there it's amazing and no you don't have to take your own cash with you they just keep tabs on what you actually you bought and you ate and basically your tour guide will take a record of that and you just pay them at the end which is super easy i said i was really hungry i remember exactly how that tasted like and it is one of the best skewers i've ever had in my life it's not only is a skewer in itself really tasty but they make you work for it right and that's the best thing about traveling around philippines is that you're hungry all the time which is really good to enjoy the food that is put in front of you and so while i was there i took the time to actually interview the store owner just to ask how they come to work every day how do you get to work in the morning there you, you swim here like no, you no. no. climb up and climb go up. down everything. You climb, climb up, up and go down. down. And you bring this with you every yes. time. One and a half hour we climb up from here to there. Really? Oh really? We thank you so much for being here. Yes. Thank you for being here. This is amazing. Thank you so thank much. You, sir. Okay, 
so that jump is actually the biggest jump during the canyoneering trip and it is so good you basically look at a spot and you just go for it i reckon it's around about 12 meters and it is one of the best jumps you'll have you'll you'll be dead scared but you just gotta do it you just gotta take the plunge and that jump you can do that as many times as you like you just gotta climb back up and do it and if you can't jump that high it's okay you can just chill at the bottom which is what you see my sister doing there and that's totally fine too so coming up are the swing jumps you'll be able to do a few of those some of them are really high some of them are not as high so you'll be able to take your pick on that one and no you don't have to do it but if you're there i, I highly recommend you do it because it's actually a lot of fun and you'll definitely be able to see some of your friends do the wrong thing and do the crappy jump like you're seeing right now which gives you a lot of giggles too what i also learned during the kawasan fall experience was that the actual layout of the waterfalls and the way the stream bends around actually changed because of the typhoon as well which is really interesting which then gives you even more of a reason to go and check it out because who knows what's going to happen next and they obviously haven't done so much to actually make it like artificial or more convenient for the tourists so you're just basically enjoying the nature as it is which i think is fantastic of course the tour guys use this every day so they know where the safe and the dangerous spots are so in every way i think it's a pretty safe and an extremely fun experience and you know what i actually had a bit of a discussion with my friend Asha. We we're talking about how impossible it'll be to have tourism around activity like this in australia because of all the safety and all the red tape there is and that's one of the reasons why we go to philippines so that we can actually enjoy nature in its raw format with people that actually know it people that actually know how to protect us people who know how to make us have lots and lots of fun along the way of course this is another swing fall this one is much higher than the ones that you've seen previously it's just as fun seriously don't be a coward just jump right into it you only jump there once so if you're there go for it didn't take long like eyes when i walked into you feeling all your red cup and we got the same thing probably like the same things didn't speak a word but you know what's so. up at the bottom of the fall, you'll be able to see a signage that says, I survived the Kawasan Falls. And of course, if you do want to take a photo that you do need to make a small donation to the local community, but do it anyway, do it joyfully because you did have lots of fun. And at the bottom of the mountain, you'll be given food and that food is amazing because you are so hungry and by that time it's like 4 30 in the afternoon but the sun has set it's actually pitch black and after the dinner you'll walk back to the initial starting point which is the church where you'll get dropped off and that's where the experience finishes when you do go to kawasan falls look out for kuya japet and roy those are the people that looked after us and we found them to be really good if you do get a chance to go look for these guys they'll make sure that you guys have a wonderful time so thanks for tuning in today make sure you go check out the kawasan falls when you do go to philippines and you check out the cebu island if you haven't done so make sure you go like share and subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you can stay updated with the most beautiful places that I get to visit all around the world. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out. Peace. And if you ain't no nigga, I'm popping. I'm the one nigga who been killing the pockets. Don't do it for the green.